and so we finally have some content for ya. So in this video, I'm purely going to talk about how to figure out what you want. But in order to do that, I need to first tell you my name. My name is Dalile Chazimani. Feel the bass. Right. So how do you figure out what you want? And it's very important. Otherwise, I wouldn't be doing this video. It's coming straight off the dome. You know what I'm saying? What do we do? Uh, so we say step one. Right. Step one. You know, step one. For the title. Okay. Take out your your piece of paper, pen, whatever. And then when you write on the top. What do I want? Mm -hmm. Step one. Boom. What's step one? Step one is to take out a pen and a paper and you write. Boom. Step one. Pen and paper. Mm, write down. Okay. Step two. Boom. What's step two? Really easy. So how did I figure this out? Hmm. Step two is purely, I think, simply put. To write down the things you like and the things you don't like. Right? You list them down. Right? So you'd probably be drawing a column. And then you put them, you categorize the two. So on the left hand side, you probably you write them um, just like, however you want, just likes hmm, and likes, and then you list all of them right down to the bottom, right? <clears throat> you check if the left hand side, which is probably gonna be your dislikes, is more than your likes. Or verse vice I would suggest you study why you dislike what you dislike right so there has got to be a reason why you dislike the things you dislike so I need you to find out you now how do you find that out I'm gonna break it down for you it's gonna be very quick so you have to go to the root of your dislike say for example you see Jack in the street for some reason, you just don't like Jack. When you see Jack, Jack is just walking there. And you're taking a different route. You don't want to be seen by Jack. Maybe it's because you hate Jack because of Jack's negativity. Oh, you can write that down. Yes. you can. That's a source. Now, you hate Jack's ne negativity. So, you change route because you do not want to be a by Jack's negativity, you're probably afraid that Jack's negativity is gonna rub off on you, mm. and you don't want that. So now, yeah, uh, you write that down. That's step two, right? I think it's step step two, step two two point oh. Okay, that's how you figure out what the root of the dislikes you dislike, and the likes do the same. Why do you like certain things? The more you like something, it's probably because you are addicted to it. Probably, probably, probably. You know, you know that one thing. <laughs> that one thing, me and you like, <laughs> we can't do without it. But there's got to be a source to why you like that certain thing. Write it down. Find it. That's, that's, that's the 2.0. Step 2, 2.0. It's finding out the source of the things that your heart desire and... Does not desire somebody's coming to play music. Okay, so move on. Step number three. Um, step number three, let's put it like this. Once you figure out what you like and you dislike, okay, so you are writing this down. Let's make sure of that because you got to write the vision down and make it plain so it's clear for you to understand. 
Because if you're not going to write it down and you're going to be the smart dude or girl and say, it's all in my head, I remember it. Uh -huh. <sighs> well, this method is not going to work for you. You know what I'm saying? So, <clears throat> we go to step three. Which I believe is probably the, the last step. I might be wrong, but let's go. Let's go with the flow. No, no, no. I am the flow. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So, yes, so go with me. Yeah, go with me. Go with me. Follow me. Mm -hmm. Step number three. So, once you figure it right out, once you jotted it down, here's what you do. Remember, we're trying to figure out what we want. Okay, let me give an example. When I was in grade seven, I, I, I did this when I was in grade seven. Actually, when I failed grade 7, so I had to reprogram my whole thinking system and what I allow in my head. Uh-huh. So, I literally wrote down what I like, what I don't like, or what I want, and what I don't want. So, I wrote them down. For example, I wrote down, I want a Ford Mustang. It's a want. It's not a need. I want to live in a mansion. It's a want. It's not a need. I can live in a house, but to live in a mansion is a want. You get what I'm saying? So those become the goal. Okay, they were my dreams until it escalated, until I realized, nah, man, these are goals because I want them. You know what I'm saying? So I wrote down the things I want. And then come to think of it, it's so interesting how these things materializes. And once your third eye is open, which is, which is a whole different video, a whole different topic, you start to realize on a much bigger scale why these things doesn't matter to you or doesn't matter anymore. Right. Back to the main topic. I was still explaining to you why I wrote down the things I wrote down. So I wrote down the Mustang, the Dimension, and all of that. That's how I knew what I want because I wrote down those things, right? And since grade 7, my life was amazing. Like everything that I did was in place. Like I would I would go to the next year and the next year and I'm seeing myself growing, right? And fast forward, most of my dreams became a reality, which is big, because you don't get the chance or you don't just get your dreams become a reality, I mean, I don't know, overnight, because for me, it seems like it was overnight, but it took time, it took writing things down, so let me, let me get to the point, let me get to the point here. So I wrote down those things, my life changed, it was amazing, all of these things. And then, in the blink of an eye, I'm sitting here in front of you now. Yeras, man, yeras. Hey, 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 make a video, you saw. My bad. <clears throat> so, uh-huh. No, 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 no. My lord. Yes. Oh no, I lost train of thought. Oh man. Oh man. Alright. Okay. <coughs> yes. So my life was amazing and all of that. And um, I'm here sitting in front of you. Right? Now I'm here in the present. And all of the things that I wrote down back then. I have accomplished most of them okay most of them because the others obviously are still in the works it's like a 15 year plan a 20 year plan because that's what you gotta have you gotta know what you want and now the only way to prepare for the future is um oh like let me say this the only way you can predict the future is when you plan for it right but you live in the now so 
now I'm here and I'm like, okay, most of the things that I actually want, that I actually want, most of the things that I want requires more of the little things that I need to do along the way. So the little things that I did wrote down back then, I've accomplished them quick. And so now I need more steps. I need more little goals to get to this bigger goal. And this bigger goal is not a destination. You have to get what I'm saying. I don't believe in destinations. I believe in the process because a destination is, is what I, that's how I believe. I believe success, the things you want, like boom, 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 boom. I believe success is the process. And all the things you want around you in this world will come as a byproduct. Mm-hmm. They will just be, like the car, it's a byproduct, right? Some people see it as a success, but I'm a man of value. I'm not a man of success. I've changed. I've realized that, man, people get envious and jealous when they see you are successful in their eyes. So I changed. I was like, mm -mm, I'd rather become a man of value, right? So meaning I'm sharing my information, knowledge, and experiences with you. Back to the point, step three. So now what you have to do is you have to think. Okay, you first have to write them down. Okay, let's write down. This is the question that you have to ask yourself, and I'm going to leave you with this. Write down, this is what we're going to do. It's a question, right? What would I do? It's going to take a long way to write. Okay, you just write. Okay, let me just write it. What would I do? What would I do for the rest of my life for the rest of my life? Waking up every single day without complaining. Okay, that's a long sentence. So let's write. Mm. Waking up <clears throat> every single day without complaining. Without complaining. Yeah. So, boom, you write down what is that one thing that you would do for the rest of your life without complaining. Like, you would wake up literally every single day. Every single day. You're not complaining. You love doing it. You love doing it. Now, it might be listening to music. It might be playing soccer in the streets. It might be writing some music. It might be mm, singing. I don't know. It might be working for somebody and i don't think that's really uh, a 100 percent pleasure career you know what i'm saying because some people wake up every day and they complain they hate going to work but they have to go to work i'm not saying that's a problem i'm just saying what do you want to do for your for the rest of your life waking up every single day not complaining Right. So now, when you ask that question, when you write it down, I wrote it down, I hope you wrote it down too, sorry. When you ask that, that question, it, 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 you have to meditate on that question for like a week, two weeks. Really, yeah. Meditate on it. By example, for example, you have to literally every day ask that question before you go to bed and when you wake up. What would I do but if you do know what you want to do for the rest of your life, let me give you an example for me. Me is just speaking, right? So now, I love talking. I talk too much. Sometimes it's a turn off for other people. And I'm well aware of that. But that's my superpower. I love talking. I talk too much. That's fine. I mean, it's me. What do you mean? I mean, I love talking. It's my words, my voice. I've, I've been blessed to talk. So what I have to do is I have to now gain experience, knowledge, and read. Do research. Find out what people who are feeling down need. And I need to translate. I need to translate certain things to them 
to get motivated, pumped, excited. I need to find ways to get them. So in other words, I need to make music, and which is what I'm doing. I need to make motivational videos, which is what I'm doing. I need to love it, breathe it. So whenever I walk in the street, I need to model what I want to do for the rest of my life, which is I'm doing it, speaking. So now I'm at the level where I actually need to create revenue with my voice. I need to turn it into a stream of income. Another way of looking at it. You know what I'm saying? So find out what that thing is. If you like watching movies or series, why don't you make money by just watching it? That Netflix has that right now. So you can go to Netflix, apply for that program, and then you can write series, watch them movies, and you get paid for just watching. I mean, if that's what you want, people who play games, young kids who play games, they're getting paid for doing just playing games. You know what I'm saying? So find out what it is that you want to do for the rest of your life without complaining and choose that you're going to do it for the rest of your life. Don't just go half foot in it. I didn't choose to go half foot living my dream. I just, I, I just don't like to work for somebody. I just want to feel what it feels like to work for myself. I just want to know how it feels like to wake up and work at your own hours. You know what I'm saying? I want to feel what it feels like. I want to know what it feels like to own something. You know what I'm saying? To be an owner of something. To, to, mm, mm, mm. So, um, yeah, feel what it feels like, know what it feels like. Some people want the success, but they, they, they don't want to, to, to persevere and endure. They don't want to do what successful people are doing, which is actually waking up every single day, working and grinding, putting in the hours, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, yeah, I think that's basically it. The only way you are going to find out what you want is when you follow this method follow this method very important follow this method my brothers and my sisters and i promise you it's gonna be worthwhile this is some value from the from the vault you know it's coming from from very deep i don't share this information just with anybody but i think it is very important that i had to share it with you because um, I love y'all. I love y'all. I love y'all. Uh, we all need some help sometimes, and we all need to, you know, grow. So, yeah, I think that's about it. Three steps. <laughs> but the third step is a question. Nice. And you're probably wondering how the answer is gonna turn out to be. <laughs> Very simple. It's gonna come. Something called the law of attraction. The law of vibration. We've come to the end of this video. Yeah, that's content. Now that's what I'm talking about. Uh huh. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Yeah. So find out what it is that you want and go after it. Don't wait for somebody's approval to come and say, here's the green card, here's the green lid. Now you can go and finally go, finally go and chase what you want. Nah, -uh. don't wait for nobody. You are the one you was created unique, special, right? So stop waiting on the one. You are the one. Stop waiting on someone. You are the one. Matter of fact, don't wait on anyone, anybody. Because you are the one. Yeah, so just love it, breathe it, be it, eat it, sleep it. You know what I'm saying? Just just be it. Be what you want. Yeah, I guess that's what you've been waiting for. <laughs> <laughs>